this is... Alright, this is the freight elevator. Yeah, these have been renewed. Alright. Just as of, what, a year ago? Alright, probably around 2013. This is the freight elevator at the Psychrotron building at Texas A&M University. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to hear the motor going up. We burned the motor. Uh, one year they uh, they blew the cylinder out because they put a, a forklift and a oh. milling machine in it. And it was way too much weight. And they blew out the cylinder, so it just it went down very slowly. You know, it's oh. hydraulic would do. These are not cable. Oh, okay. These are uh, supported. Let's see rid of the car. I believe this used to be an Otis. Yeah, it was an Otis. Oh, it's an Otis. You have to hold it. Well, it's the sensor tray. Oh, okay. Oh, so this used to be an Otis. Sorry I showed out my Kone label. I wasn't so sure about this. I believe Kone did this modernization. Mm -hmm. um. So it's still Otis. Yeah, it might have been. Kone had the contract. Oh, okay. Office, and they do uh, some of the decent Krupp also. There's a lot of the stuff on campus. Oh, Tyson Krupp. Now, going up, can we be silent? Because I want to get a listen to this epic dry power motor. You might be able to see inside the cage there. I don't know the lights on inside there. You can certainly look. Stuff in the door now. They didn't use to have them. Oh. Oh, so that that's like your safety thing. Like when, whenever you put your hand in there, it's yeah. gonna it's gonna it's like gonna um. Break the oh yeah. Are you are you gonna show me like an elevator machine room? I'm just curious. It's locked. Can't go in there. Oh okay. It's right there. Okay, I like to see it. All right. Oh, so this is the elevator machine room. Oh, cool. But you can't really see into it. Not too much. I mean, that's just the motor. Oh, yep. I can. I can see that. See, I can see that enough. See, that's your dry power system. I can see the pump right there. They just took all that, and replaced it new. Oh, well, at least it's still dry powered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess last year they finished it about this time last year. Oh, so this was just recently redone. Yeah, recently. Now here's a much better picture of the elevator machine room itself. All right, I guess I'm ready to go back up. Are we gonna go? Are we getting off to where we started? Yeah. All right. Now I want to listen to this motor. Is that if that's okay? Sure. You can hear it over. There. Oh yes. Is that where where we got on? Thank you so much. Yeah, the old panel used to be right here. And it had the big button. Oh. The big start stop was up here and had the big mash, big old buttons about that big there phenolic. You had to hold them and all that. Oh, so these used, right this there. used to be a black button Otis. Yeah. So this was installed in 1966. All right, I like to get a cab view. This is a nice elevator. There are your innovation fixtures. While I'm not a fan of modernization, but I can safely say you did a great job modernizing this. Very tasteful modernization, as I call it. All right, so I guess that'll be it. Yeah, I'm one of the few people that's actually ridden it. I was on the forklift with a 5,000 pound milling machine. The lift itself weighs another like six or eight. I see that. I rode it all the way down there. Oh, the machine.
machine down there. But there was no room for me to get out, so I just broke it. Alright, and there it goes. Well, sir, thank you so much for taking your time to show me around. Alright. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please note, do not trespass on this property unless you're being supervised by a building member. This is being done with permission. So with that being said, until the next video, see you later.